Well, Patty Jenkins tweeted out a poster for the upcoming film Wonder Woman 84 or Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, that's pretty much all we got so far. Uh, there's only been a little brief uh, clips and whatnot from the movie, and only rumors that it must involve time travel and possibly even a soft reboot of the whole DCEU. I don't know. And then even other comments that seem to suggest that this is an entirely new Wonder Woman that has nothing to do with the farewell. I, I but sincerely hope not. As a reboot... Uh, that offers time travel so that they can explain why they're recasting parts, since they're already recast Batman, of course. As far as I know, and from what's been said, that that Batman movie will be set in the 90s. Putting him, So, putting him 20 years, you know, at, at the very least, in the past, and if that's the case, uh, despite what Deadline said, that he will have nothing to do with Ben Affleck, then why set him in that time? I don't really understand that. Uh, but perhaps for the purposes of the story, they needed it there. But uh, that would continue to fit in with the the narrative that's been set by these movies that Warner Brothers just wants to pretend didn't happen. <laughs> so, but Wonder Woman, oh, but Wonder Woman was their big hit and remains, in my opinion, the best of the DC movies. Well, Aquaman made the big money, but Wonder Woman, both artistically and in and, and popularity, was the best of these films uh, and, and its plot and what have you. So anyway, uh, we got our first look, and it's going to be in the uh, set in the 80s and all that. So, of course, it's going to be flashy, and boy, is it. <laughs> I did not see this coming. Uh, here uh, images from Bounding Into Comics, and uh, that's the the tweet. Patty Jenkins sit down and said, hey, take a look. And, uh, boy, you know, I... It's really flashy, <laughs> and I suppose it speaks to the 80s, I suppose. Uh, but uh, the first impression was that she looks like a pop star. You know, uh, this looks like something uh, Lady Gaga would wear or something, even though she wasn't an 80s star. She's a current star, but uh, uh, certainly influenced from the era, I would assume. And uh, here we see that in this outfit here. So who knows what this is supposed to uh, uh, depict, and it's possible this is some sort of goddess armor or something she comes into possession of for the final conflict or something like that yeah who knows uh and all the uh w images well we know what that means but um what the pop star image i thought it i, I can't boy i'm terrible with this where there was some of course these are all rumors and whatnot of people saying that uh, diana will have to deal with her fame and i thought well uh if, if she's famous in the 80s then how come no one knew about her when she shows up in Batman vs. Superman? Now, look, if you're just going to ignore that, that that's a mistake. Uh, I know it has a stench about it, I think unfairly, but nevertheless, it's there. But despite all of that, Wonder Woman was your big star next to Aquaman, you know, and uh, she'll be fine. And you, I think there needed to be a narrative there as to why she, that she lived in secret, and there was kind of a, a mystery and uh, something to explore. However, if this is a time travel movie where everything is turned upside down and inside out, and perhaps uh, Diana being the only one who knows what really happened, uh, or happened before, or how you want to put that, alternate time, I don't know, um, then that, that would be uh, in keeping uh, with what they've uh, uh, established. And uh, so I think abandoning all the uh, the Snyder movies is a, a mistake. And just moving forward is fine. It's like uh, with the Suicide Squad, which already uh, stories about that one sounds much better than the one we got before. But I and since certain cast members are returning, that it's a mistake to just act like it never happened at all. And uh, so it's just do a better movie. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like it will be. It's actually sounding closer to the source, source material and a more uh, believable uh, plot for that team to take on. So anyway, uh, it's it, look. It does look cool and everything. I just I don't know what's going on here, uh, and who knows what it'll look like in action in the film with this new super armor. But uh, we've seen her in her familiar outfit and all that, so it's not like they're abandoning it or anything. And like I said, this might be some new special 
battle suit she finds for whatever challenge she has. I, it's never been mentioned, but I, I'm wondering if Cersei will show up as well as Cheetah in this thing. And Cer with Cersei there, who does have all these powers, then possibly she could be bending time or something along those lines, or she knows how to get there or something like that. And because you got to explain how they're going to explain Steve Trevor being there, you know? So uh, if that's how they're going to reboot it, it's just sort of a nod and at the end and realize things have changed or something along the, I, I'll be okay with that. But to just uh, ignore it completely and don't explain things. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But still this would, if that's the case and you've got the Batman film coming, uh, that's set in the past, so it doesn't really matter what happens with Wonder Woman. Uh, does that mean at some point they'll have to cast yet another Batman to play the older one since Ben Affleck uh, has flown the coop or the cave? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, there was a story earlier that uh, DC or Warners was not going to show up at the San Diego Comic Con. That is not true. Uh, let's see. There was an article they had here. Uh, Hall H. They won't have a setup in Hall H. And they said it's not really unusual. Marvel uh, didn't set up there the last time around with Endgame and uh, Captain Marvel and good lord Endgame. So uh, it's not that big of a deal. But it was passed around that they weren't going to be there. And earlier I saw an article over here at uh, Cosmic Book News where there would be no Man of Steel for San Diego Comic Con. And I thought, well, if the other story was true that there weren't that's, you know, no, no, none of DC was going to be there, then that kind of explains that. But no, they will be there. It seemed really odd to think that they wouldn't. So Cosmic Book News got it wrong, but so did a lot of other people, like, uh, uh, who was it? Um, uh, the Hollywood Reporter, I believe. Yeah. So uh, they're going to be there. But so once again, uh, No Man of Steel 2, and I'm at this point thinking I had had hopes that they would uh, get something together and they were just keeping it quiet for a while, but it's looking like it's not going to happen. And the only rumors that seem to come out at all are about Supergirl, which I have no interest in after seeing what they did with that TV series. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so you don't need Supergirl. We got Wonder Woman. Now, Supergirl's a derivative character. Wonder Woman is her own. And uh, if you got to have female characters, why don't you go for more of the ones that aren't derivative? Uh, that would be something. But Superman, I mean, you're giving up on that. I just, if you don't want Henry Cavill, then it's time to look for a new Superman. Uh, you can't just l let that language. That's just pathetic. Uh, but uh, whatever, we got Wonder Woman. So here comes Wonder Woman in her new uh, Lady Gaga suit. <laughs> but I, I do, I'm looking forward to this movie. I really like, again, I really liked the first Wonder Woman and I still, it's the best of those films. Uh, and so a uh, lot's riding on the second one to at least do as good as that, if not better. And, uh, if it's not, oh, well, it's, it's kind of tough and unfair, but well, that's the way it is. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. Please like and subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, thank you very much. And if you didn't like this video, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch it anyway. I'll try to do better next time. And hey, while you're here, <laughs> why not check out that link description below? That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you.